All right, Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shot Barack Thumb. Thank you, brothers, man. Uh, before we get started, we want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and blessings to the elect. It's the Great Millstone, Dallas Camp. I got the brother Tazama here with me. Uh, I'm the brother Yachazak, and we just wanted to uh, do a uh, quick parable, you know what I'm saying, uh, in transit on our way to class. We wanted to go into uh, Matthew chapter 14, uh, verses 22 through 33, going into. Uh, 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 faith in Yahweh Shai with uh, the the account where the Lord was out on the sea and Peter walked out to him. You know, it was a heavy, it was a heavy, uh, uh, it was a heavy account. And the way you tie it into today, you know what I'm saying? If you can receive it, you know, it's a it's a, it's a spirit booster and a, it's a, actually a hell of a story. Which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, we just gonna get straight to it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna uh, hopefully. Boost the spirits of the elect, man. Keep this thing moving, man. Just another another opportunity to push the word. So let's get it. Con, I'll read it for you. All right. Uh, you said Mark, uh, I'm sorry, Matthew 14 and 22. Uh huh. All right. One second. All right. This is Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. It says, uh, In straightway, Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. Uh huh. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Uh, now it's established. It's established that Yahweh Shai and the disciples have a relationship to the point to where they roll in with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He sent everybody else off. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Look, okay, y'all riding with me." Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And he was teaching them things and showing them things. You know what I'm saying? through the spirit you know what i'm saying how to spiritually navigate you know what i'm saying just like he's doing with us through the scriptures today you know what i'm saying he said he wasn't gonna leave us comfortless right. you know what i'm saying if you want to hold that if you know where that uh is exactly uh he yeah. wasn't gonna leave us comfortless you know what i'm saying and by not leaving us comfortless he, le he left himself in the volume of the book you know what i'm saying and the point of this lesson is to show how he was with the disciples then in the flesh but he's with us in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got that scripture. Um, I, I, I got that scripture you was talking about. Cut. This is uh, John chapter 14, verse 17. It says, even, actually, I'm sorry, verse 16. It says, I will, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. That's what I'm saying. Them, that's the same men that he prayed for in John chapter 17. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When he came back, when he came back after the resurrection, when he came back and dwelt amongst those men and women for those 40 days, he was giving serious instruction. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was showing them things that they was going to have to be ready for and all type of stuff. And he gave them enough information to be willing to die for it. Right. Go ahead. It says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Uh, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, which we all, if you have any spiritual inclination, you know who we're talking about. Go ahead. Right. It says whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Because it seeth him not. They don't get the understanding of the scriptures the way we do. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. It's a mystery that's been unlocked for certain men on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we those men. Mm -hmm. But we believe through the spirit of this what these scriptures are talking about that we are those men. So we act accordingly. Go ahead. For he dwelleth with you. And shall be in you So he dwelleth in you And shall be in you Meaning the way you carry yourself The way you act What people see in you Right It's gonna be How about Hashem Yahweh yeah. Shai Go ahead If I can say The scripture tells you Somewhere in Proverbs I think it's Proverbs The uh, 27 chapter If I'm not mistaken How uh, As a uh, Pretty much as uh, As water The water Pretty much as a man Sees his face in the water You're supposed to you know that's how you're supposed to see a re representation of your brother. Okay. You know, and that's how it kind of, and that's how it is with the uh, with the Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, as we as we look at ourselves in the water and we see a reflection of ourselves, we're supposed to see a representation of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. He said, if you ever give a prophet a cup of water, it's like giving it to him himself. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. If I give Tazama some water, I'm giving Yahweh Shai some water. You know, as a brother. You know, right. a brother that needs that that needs some water. Mm -hmm. If you do it to the brother, you do it to him. And that's how that's what I'm saying. If he's dwelling in you, then that's exactly the case. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? If if, if Yahweh Shah is dwelling in me and this brother right here, then I should treat him accordingly. I should treat him as such. 
right. Go ahead. Verse 18 is the point. It says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. How it, uh, Revelation, uh, 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 what's that, 3? We're talking about the Lord supping with us. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get that. I mean, we're going to stay on topic, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kinda. It's so many precepts to come together. <laughs> uh, that was it. That was it on that John 14. So okay. I'm going to jump back to Matthew uh, 14. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going I'm to jump down to verse 20, 24. It says, but the ship was now, and also I want to say also above in this above in this chapter, Yahweh Shah just did a miracle by feeding the 5,000. Right, you know, because that's why he was sending the multitudes away back home. You know, God. so you know the, the disciples just seen and witnessed Yahweh Shah do something very miraculous. You know, uh, verse twenty-four it says, "But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, mm -hmm. for the wind was contrary." That's what I'm saying, and, and we and we in this truth, and we walk it with Yahweh Shah through the the volume of the book. You know what I'm saying? Like we just read, he didn't leave us comfortless. He was going to leave himself in the volume of the book so we can read and understand about Yahweh Shai, you know, through the spirit. Go ahead. Verse 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh Shai went unto them. Yeah, so lucky. That's what it was. The storm and the tempest. You know what I'm saying? That's the hell we catch. Right. You know what I'm saying? The being taxed and your life always in danger and the, the valley of the shadow of death and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jacob's trouble. All these things, these are the storms and tempests. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just like the brother Yashin Wamba always say, man. Yeah, these things actually did happen, but it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual aspect of looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. To where you can apply it to today. Read on. God it says, uh, and in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh Shai went unto them walking on the sea. Mm -hmm. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, "It is a spirit." Yeah, and they cried out for fear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They hadn't seen nobody walk on water before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the Lord did that, you know. Uh -huh. The Lord did that, you know what I'm saying? It was a miracle. He was showing them all these different things, you know. You can just imagine just being on the ship, right? It's, it's, it's raining outside. It's windy. You already think it says it says that the ship was tossed with waves. So you gotta just imagine there wasn't on no big yacht. You know what I'm saying? They was probably on just a, like a little boat. You know, and the, and the waves was, you know, it was it was tearing the ship up. I want to say it had to take, it had to be a hell of a storm to have them feeling the way they was feeling. They thought they was gonna die. Yeah. You know. And then in the in the midst of in the midst of the storm, thinking that they finna die, they see a man just walking towards them on the water. <laughs> they yeah. see a man walking towards them on the water. They're like, shit, it's a spirit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you can just, I can just imagine it in my mind, like just you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna continue on. It's, uh, verse 27. It says, "But straightway Yahweh spake unto them, saying, that was, it had to be a hell of a storm. It was written about. You, you know what I mean? Go ahead, brother. <laughs> it says, but straightway Yahweh spoke unto them, saying, uh -huh. be, of, be of good cheer. Uh -huh. It is I. Be not afraid. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is with us all the time, man. Yeah. When the Lord is dwelling in you, that's what I'm saying. You know what dwell mean? You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, uh, the, the scripture that say He dwelleth in you, yeah. Look at look up dwelleth. You know what I'm saying? Meaning He lives in you, man. So if He lives in you, that means He with you all the time, long as you're in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is uh, let's see, Let me find it real quick. I think it's in First John, ain't it? I think uh, so. Yeah, uh, this is First John chapter four, verse twelve. It says, "No man hath seen the Most High at any time. Mm -hmm. If we love one another, the Most High dwelleth in us, That's and His I'm love saying. is perfected in us." If you if you doing what you can according to the law amongst the brethren, then the Lord dwelleth in you, man. Right. Period. I'm gonna continue on verse sixteen. Also, it Come. says, "And we and we have known and believed that uh, the love that the Most High hath to us." Uh, the most high is love. Mm -hmm. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the most high. Yep. And the most high in him. That's what I'm saying, man. You treat your brother like you want him to treat you in a nutshell. Exactly. <laughs> you know, treat your brother, treat your brother accordingly because you know, as we know, uh love is roughly paraphrasing, you know, love is keeping of the commandments. You know, and if love is keeping of the commandments, it tells you in uh, Leviticus the nineteenth chapter that you should suffer uh, you should suffer uh, no sin amongst your brother. Yep. You know, so if you see your brother going off or slipping you know, missing the mark every once in a while. Showing true love is to get your brother back on course and yep. following the ways of Yahweh Shah so that we can all be in unity. That's right. In one unit. 
That's what I'm saying. And he left it in the form of a book so we can do that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the reason why we want to go into this story is because even when Peter started to fade, uh, even when Peter started to fade, you know what I'm saying? The Lord was still with him. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. that's one thing about it. The, when you when you check out the dynamic of Peter's role in the scriptures, Peter got caught out there a lot. You know what I'm saying? But right. it, it ain't no different from us. Right. You know what I'm saying? We bro, we begin caught slipping all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In our cardinality, you know what I'm saying? And without the brotherhood, shit, we'll be screwed. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know? On top of that, the angels is watching you slip when you're not around the brothers. You know, but that's like the brother said. That's the beauty of. Of dwelling in this in, in the spirit of truth with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because we know that with with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai being a long suffering power, you know he he is merciful. Mm -hmm. You know and, and, and actually with the story, you know it shows how the Lord has still had mercy on Peter and helped him and saved him. Yep, you that's know? what I'm saying, and that's the same boat that we in because we in these carnal bodies, man. Yep. And then you got to think about it, man. Peter was always under the threat of imminent death. He was walking with Yahweh Shai. He was the head disciple. So he had to take more heat than everybody else. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Come on, I'm gonna just read verse 27 again of Matthew 14. It says, But straightway Yahweh shall speak unto them, saying, Be of a good cheer. It is I, be not afraid. That's what I'm saying. Take your hand cheerfully, man. I'm walking with you, you know what I'm saying? You know I got you. Go ahead. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it if it be thou, Bid me come unto thee on the water. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause we already understand. We understand the scriptures enough to know that one day we're gonna have spiritual power and that we can fly and walk on water and be able to do all these things. Mm -hmm. But then when you're in this car body and you got water up under your feet and nothing else, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but the Lord with you the whole time though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God, it says verse 29. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was actually, Peter was actually walking on the water. Yep. He just said it. Yep. He was out there. He was out there on the water, taking steps. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Came into the truth. The Lord seven with him. He walking with him. You know? Go ahead. God, verse 30. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. That's what I'm saying. But then when you start catching hell, <laughs> that boisterous wind, you know what I'm saying? Is your woman leaving or your kids being bad or you getting tickets or getting pulled over, you know? Mm -hmm. Those demons from the world start to come back trying to get you to, trying to uh, see if your house is uh, swept clean. Go Going on. back to Matthew 12, go ahead. I want to get that word boisterous in the Greek, it's Strong's G2477. Play it out loud. Strong's G2478, is Ischuras. It's Horas. It's like it. Strong G2478. But um, it says strong, mighty. It says of living beings. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go down to letter B. It says on inanimate things. It says strong, violent, forcibly uttered, firm, or sure. Uh -huh. You know, and that's and like the brother said, that's like us living. It's, it's like us being in this world catching this hell. You know, uh, with, with all types of hell that brothers catch around the, around the world. You know, we got to make sure that we keep, that we keep and maintain our integrity and our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with, it, with with anything that we do, any kind of hell that we catch. That's right. You know. So I'm gonna read verse 30 again. It says, "But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, mm -hmm. and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me.'" That's what I'm saying. That's, he was on his way to the sunken place. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Peter almost ended up in the sunken place, man. But the Lord had a better plan for him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why you think Peter was the one that came out there? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Go ahead. God. Verse 31, it says, And immediately, Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand. Mm -hmm. Immediately. As soon as he seen Peter was losing it. As soon as he seen he was slipping. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep in mind, those that are, that are thine are mine. Right. And thine are mine, and mine are thine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Peter was the most highest favorite. Right. So Yahweh Shai was like, oh, I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. <laughs> I just wanted to see, you know what I'm saying? Just wanted to see what you was about real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dynamic between Yahweh Shai and Peter was, oh, oh, it was awesome, man. Yeah, they like, you know? If you, you read in the scriptures, man, you had, you had Peter try to curse out Yahweh Shai. You yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, Yahweh Shai cursing out Peter. It was rebuking each other. Yeah. You know, but, because, uh, you know, according to how Yahweh Shai looked at it, you know, John was his favorite. You right. know, but it all it all goes back to what what the heavenly Father wants. Let the, let Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's right. You know. So it says in verse thirty one, and immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him, and said unto him, 
O thou a little faith, mm -hmm. wherefore didst thou doubt? That's what I'm saying, man. You was already walking on the water. Right. You were taking steps and everything. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I, yeah. I got a precept. Bro. Good. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. See? You see? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. We already walking on the water. We already in the turbulence. We already in the tribulation. Right. You know what I'm saying? You already in a fight. Yep. I would say we eight, nine, ten rounds into the fight. You get hit and you shocked. Yeah. Come on, man. What been going on the rest of the time? All these rest of the ten rounds. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, man. If Peter believed that he is at that time, he'd have walked on the water. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's stages to this thing. It's levels to this thing. Levels in other lives. Levels in the current life you in. You know what I'm saying? Even with Yahweh Shai, it was levels to this thing. He started out as Adam and he, uh, he ended up as Yahweh Shai. Just like, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning of the movie. His name was John Addison. Shit, at the end, he flew off Neo. Right. You know? Right. Like a, a, total, a total change. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. Right. And that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek That's him. That's what I'm saying. And we diligently seek him through the scriptures. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said he wasn't going to leave us comfortless. That's what I'm saying. You got 144,000 men, man, that through the Spirit, man, this word is going to comfort them more than anything else in this world possibly can. Mm -hmm. And they'd rather die than use any other substitute. Right, because understanding that, understanding that if you die, you know, us through the Spirit, you know, Lord willing, we keep the Spirit upon us, but understanding death and, and what it is is that, man, this flesh is already... This flesh is already dead. You know, like we died, we died with Yahweh Shah when he got crucified. God. You know, and being resurrected, and when, when Yahweh Shah was resurrected and brought into the heavens with the new body and the new glory, you know, that's how we walk on this planet Earth, even though we are still in the flesh, we walk in the newness of spirit and the newness of life. Right. You know, so understanding death and also understanding that there's nothing that's gonna be brought up into the chariot with you on this side except for your spirit. What else is there to lose? You know, there's nothing else to lose. Like we, we talked about a camp yesterday. You got to go all in in this thing. You put you put all your chips in one, and you put you putting all your chips in your house. Watching me, I was shy in this thing. Man. That's right. Nothing else. You know. Uh, verse thirty-one again. Oh, and immediately Yahweh shot stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Thou shalt scarcely be saved. Mm-hmm. He stretched forth his hand when he was about to. Say. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. God, verse 32. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. And when they had come into the ship, the wind ceased, man. The that ship. ship, that ship today is gonna be them chariots, man. You know what I'm saying? God, that bro. ship today is gonna be them chariots, man. And that wind is gonna be that thermonuclear destruction. That's right. That's right. You know everything everything that's written, man, it was for it was it was for our learning, man. Yep. Romans 15. Go ahead. God. It says, uh, when they came into the ship, the wind ceased. Uh, verse 33. And they that were in the ship. And they that were in the ship, you know what I'm saying? Th these were the disciples. Okay. You know what I'm saying? These were the disciples. The elect. Go ahead. And they that were in the ship came and worshipped him. And they that were in the ship came and worshipped him. You know what I'm saying? How I talk about we're going to get caught up in the sky. You know what I'm saying? How we gonna be praising his name if That's we make it on them chariots? I was about to get that scripture. You get it? I was. I, yeah. I, 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 I gotta uh, write up, write out the word. Yeah. Try to find. I know some revelations. Yeah, man. Let's see. Uh, it's a beautiful story, man. God, let me see real quick here. Revelations. It's a beautiful script. So like, y'all can't uh, have an issue trying to find it. Oh, all right. Lord willing, Lord willing, I'll find it in a second. Yeah. But it says, uh, and, and when they were came, and, and, and they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, "That was the only those that was in the ship came and worshipped him. Everybody else was BSing. Mm -hmm. Everybody else wanted to do their own thing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So everybody didn't make it. Everybody wasn't on that ship. Everybody didn't see that miracle. Right. Go ahead. Of a truth, thou art the son of the most high. Of a truth, thou art the son of the most high, man. Yep. He calmed that storm and he had them. That's what I'm saying. They thought they was they was they thought they was at the brink of imminent death." And all they could do was call on your Howard shot. Right. As soon as he did it, immediately he stretched his hand forth. You know what I'm saying? Right. I have a, uh, let, me, let me actually check down here real quick. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to get this precept real quick. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, 
verse 4. It says, For though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not last, uh, I think it's supposed to say fast. I think it's a typo on, my, in the, on the phone version. It says, yet, it's, yet standing not fast, they shall be shaken with the wind, and through the force of winds they shall be rooted out. Mm -hmm. The imperfect branches shall be broken off. Yep, that's right. Their fruit unprofitable, not right to eat, yea, meat for nothing. I'm saying everybody ain't gonna make it, man. Nope. That's what I'm saying. Everybody wasn't on that. Everybody wasn't on that uh, on that ship to see that. Yep. Just like everybody ain't gonna be on the ship to see what's uh, uh, coming coming in the future. Right. Go ahead. No, that was in on that one. Oh, okay. And then, uh, did you have another precept? Because if not, I had another. One. Nah, that was it. That was all I had. All right, I'm gonna just get Psalms 91 real quick. Cause, you know, it made me think about this scripture here. Right. It's the Psalms 91 of one. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh -huh. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Uh -huh. You know, and the snare and the fowler and the noisome pestilence is going to be these, uh, you know, these different things that are going to be happening. And, and you know, when... Uh, when all hell breaking loose in the Jacob's midst of World trouble. War III, Jacob's yep. trouble, martial law, you know, the snare of that fowler, okay? It says, uh, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and his wings shalt thou trust, uh, and hit under his wings shalt thou trust. And that and his feathers and his wings is going into the chariots. It says, and, and his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yep. Believing believe on, on Yahweh Shai. Right, it's going to be your shield and your, and your buckler Because the scripture tells you in Ephesians That Yahweh Shai uh, He is the truth You know I am the way, the truth, and the light Alright he, he is our shield and our buckler hey, Did you ever get that word dwelleth? Oh, Slocky, I didn't Actually, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, finish, your, finish your point Okay, okay. Finish your point and then we get dwelleth Okay You know what I'm saying Because we can end it on, on, on dwelleth And we can, uh, we can get that definition And then read that scripture And then we can end it Okay, it says, uh, verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor by the uh, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Uh -huh. You know, that uh, that terror by night could be these uh, these different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? These different biological warfare weapons that Esau already has planned. To Tri I would say tribulation as a whole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, tribulation don't get, don't get ugly, happen. man. You know, and the arrow that flies by the day is going to be these ICBM nuclear missiles, man. It's going to be shot off from the ends of the earth. It says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. You know, and that pestilence can go into, you know, these different diseases that are going to be let loose. Yep. You know, it says, uh, nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday. A thousand shall fall by that, uh, shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yeah. You know? That should scarcely be saved. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? God. You gonna see? I was like, we gonna we gonna see the missiles, man. It's gonna be a matter of whether or not you gonna be uh, pulled out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it starts now. Right. I'm gonna get that word uh, dwell, and this is just in the dictionary. It says to live or stay as a permanent resident. To live or stay as a permanent resident, man. That's why you don't defile your temple, man. Right. Once, you, once you born again and you how about show me how how we shall dwell in you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta treat yourself better. Yep. It says to live or continue in a given condition or state. Uh-huh. To linger over, emphasize, or ponder in thought, speech, or writing. Yeah. You know, and that makes me think <laughs> about that scripture where it says, uh, let everything in word, let roughly paraphrase and let all things in word and deed be done in the name of Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yep. You know? Then, uh, did you want to, did you want to get that, uh, that scripture in John 14 again? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, this is our first John, I think it was. It's locked, man. Oh, no, nah, you're good, brother. All right. This is, uh, let's see. First John chapter four, verse fourteen or verse fifteen again. We read this earlier. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start a little bit higher. Actually, that's what's see. up. Okay. Fine. Yeah, find you a good point. Stick the landing. Come. On. This is uh, verse twelve. It says, "No man has seen the Most High at any time. Mm -hmm. If we love one another, 
the most high dwelleth in us. Yep, that's right, man. Yep. That's what I'm saying. If you if you fully get these scriptures and you live your life the best way you can, according to them, you know what I'm saying, you'll be able to walk on that water. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your faith ain't gonna waver like like Peter's did on that water, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't we don't see an example after example with Peter being one of the, one of the most beautiful ones, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To fully understand that parable, you know, but well, it actually happened. But to be able to understand it today, you know, to be able to correlate it to today, go ahead. Con, it says, uh, and his and his love is perfected in us. And his love is perfected in us, man. That's what I'm saying. We seen when our forefathers fell off and when they got back on and and the road it took. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that you're gonna go through the same similar things. You know what I'm saying? Being in this flesh. God. And you see that they they was able to persevere because with the, when the spirit is with you, even when you fall or even when you shaky, you know what I'm saying. The Lord will extend their hand if He's dealing with you because He ain't gonna let you fall. Go ahead. Right. Verse thirteen it says, "Hereby know we that uh, that we dwell in Him, and He in us, because He giveth us of His Spirit." That's what I'm saying. It say He know. Read it again. It say we. Know. It say we know. God. We know, and that's the difference between us and all these other groups, man. They doubt. They got that doubt. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they mad because we don't doubt it the way they do. Mm -hmm. But read it again, bro. It says, hereby know we. Hereby know we. Look, y'all need to know that we know for sure. Uh -huh. We've been persuaded. Go ahead. That we dwell in him. That we dwell in him. Go ahead. And he in us. And he in us. Because he hath given us of his spirit. Because he had given us of his spirit, man. When the spirit of the Lord is on you, you know it, man. Right. Hey, no, make no mistake about it. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be in that spirit all the time, but being in this flesh is going to be times where you're not going to be able to do it. Right. And, it's, it's and, and, and that's what I'm saying. And when the Lord see you sinking, you know, he's going to send that brother to, to, to pull you out. You know? Because he's been in, 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 uh, invigorated with the comforter. Go ahead. Come on, verse 14, it says, it says, and we have seen and do testify we have seen and do testify we've seen things that we're willing to testify of mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying willing to be martyrs for because we believe read that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world that's what i'm saying man we believe all credit and glory goes to yahweh Yahweh Yep. all of it go ahead Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High, mm -hmm. the Most High dwelleth in him, and he in the Most High. That's what I'm saying. You ain't going to confess something you don't believe. Right. If I tell you you shot somebody in the head and you know you didn't do it, you ain't going to confess that. Right. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that the Most High hath to us. Uh-huh. The Most High is love. The Most High is love, man. The law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know what I'm saying? All in a nutshell, treating your brother like you would want him to treat you, man. Me, Nick, you're not gonna sleep with his woman, or or, 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 or kill his, or, or kill his cattle, or you know what I'm saying, or covet, or none of the things that the Most High despise or, 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 or deems detestable. Go ahead. And he, I'm so like, yeah, the Most High is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the Most High. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the Most High, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a bond, man. Right. We are binded together through the comforter, man. Read on. And the most high in him. And the most high in him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. All right. Well, uh, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.